Hi there YouTube, it's Karen or Shrinking Goofball. Uh, it's been a really long day, I had a lot of things to do today. So let's just get this started. I am on week 19 post-op. So just to give a little bit of history, um, going back a little bit further before I give my current numbers. Um, I do post every Wednesday, but if you're catching this for the very first time, I like to give my um, numbers at the very beginning. So on October the 17th, I started my Optifast diet uh, for three weeks at 321 pounds. I lost 24 pounds on that diet. On November the 7th, I went in for my gastric bypass at 297 pounds, um, which is a lot. <laughs> Last week, I reported that I was 233.4 pounds, and today I'm 229 pounds. So that's a 4.4 loss for a total of 92 pounds. And I, you don't have to be a mathematician to know. That's only eight pounds away from 100. So I'm getting my tattoo really soon. So with it being a really busy day, I think um, I'm pretty sure I told you that I'm having my um, gastroscopy on Friday. Really looking forward to that like uh, never before because now I can't keep down my chili. Chili was one of those, oh great, I'm going to have something that I can eat that has lots of protein and uh, I can keep it down. Well, I've got rid of that. I believe last Wednesday after I did my video, um, it was my very first time having chili and throwing it up. So I haven't had chili since then. I've made homemade soup. My mom used to call it the two for soup because it was two carrots, two celery, two onions, two potatoes, two chicken or oxtail or whatever. I've been doing chicken, boiling it to death, doing a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some, um, like a bouillon cube, which I do in chicken. So lots of nice broth. Well, I threw that up and I make my vegetables super soft. So what I've done now is I've completely pureed it. So it's a really nice creamy um, soup and it's delicious, if I do say so myself. I've also had a lot of success with soggy Rice Krispies, which I have sometimes as an evening snack. And last night I threw those up. So when I went to go see um, the doctor today, uh, we talked about mostly the pain for my osteoarthritis. We talked about my CPAP and uh, tonsils and stuff like that, snoring, the whole nine yards. So he was kind of um, at a loss because he wasn't sure why I, because when I started with the CPAP, I was put on a 10 pressure. And uh, a few weeks ago, I got a call that it needed to be adjusted to 17, which is even higher. Um, but I did that test like weeks after my surgery, which means I did it like in the end of November. And we're in November, uh, sorry, we're in March now. And I believe back then I was like 279 plus pounds and now I'm 229. So uh, it was kind of nice. I, I carried my CPAP with me because it was at the hospital where the doctor was and I had every intention of going and having it calibrated to the 17. And he said, we're going to leave it at um, 10. So when you have uh, problems like snoring, uh, mine was very serious, actually, very high. Uh, very high would be considered like a 30 times in one hour that you would stop breathing. I was 108 times in one, in one hour. So they started me off at 10. But at this point, um, I don't have the tonsils that I had before that were really swollen. Um, he obviously didn't check my adenoids. That's something that an ear, nose and throat specialist would uh, take care of. But he had talked about taking my tonsils out and he said that they look great. I've never been told that my tonsils look great. So I felt good about that. Um, he's sending me to a pain clinic, uh, actually referring me through my family doctor to a pain clinic. Did talk about a couple of medications. One of them was called um, uh Tarjan, I think it Tarjan, I think it was called, but it's uh, highly addictive. So the pain clinic is going to help to manage my pain. So regardless of how much weight I lose, I'm still in pain. I could lose another 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds. And what's happening is when you have no cartilage, I've still got bone rubbing against bone in both my knees. So um, regardless of my weight, I'm still going to be in pain. So that kind of stinks. But anyway, I kind of feel good about my appointment because I feel like, you know, I made a step forward as opposed to backwards. Monday, uh, sorry, Friday, I'm going to find out if I have an ulcer or um, a stricture. Uh, the doctor today did remind me that if it's a stricture, um, he's just going to dilate it on the spot, which of course means making a small opening a little bit bigger if there's scar tissue. 
And if it's an ulcer, then we'll have to deal with that at a different level. I don't even know what happens if I have an ulcer. I don't want to think that I have an ulcer. So yeah, um, I was really excited because I'm going to an engagement party on Sunday. And as I've repeated in many of my videos, I don't want to shop for clothes because when you're continuously losing weight, um, I'm still living in my jeggings. They're an X from a plus size store, which is the equivalent of a size 16. Uh, they're a little big on me. Just, I don't know if you can actually see it. Hold on. So this is what I'm, well, see it's black. You can't really see. I live in my, they're jeggings. So they're, you know, I can pull them. There's like extra, but I wash them and then they shrink and I'm good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So with this engagement, I'm thinking, you know, it's at a nice place. Um, I have to get kind of dressed up and I really don't have a wardrobe anymore. So I think I told you several, a couple months back, I ended up buying one pair, excuse me, <coughs> of black pants from Walmart. They were only 20 bucks. They're a little big for me, but they still have a nice pant leg. They're not too skinny. And I tried on a shirt that I haven't been able to wear in a few years because I think it's a... It's either a 16 or an 18 and it fits me just perfectly, but because I'm a little bit bustier, that's why I need the bigger size. I think I'm probably smaller on the bottom than I am on top. And today, um, I did put it on my uh, Facebook so some of the girls could comment on the outfit, but I just wanted to wear basic black. Um, I am a makeup artist, a skincare specialist, so I'm really big on um, color coordination. So if you guys ever have any questions about makeup and that sort of thing, I'm a color specialist. So if I'm wearing all black, which is a no-no, what I'm doing today is I'm wearing yellow gold. My rings are yellow gold, my earrings are yellow gold, and my necklace is yellow gold. But most people don't know that black is not a color, it's actually a cool neutral. So cool would mean that you should really wear silver, not gold. So for the engagement party, I'm going to be wearing hoop earrings. I'm gonna be wearing some chunky rings. And I bought this. So I'm not going to put it on because it gets stuck in my hair. Look how pretty it is. It was from Old Navy and it was like $10.95. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, really simple, very light. So I just wanted something to dress it up because it's all black. Um, and I'm wearing uh, little ankle boots that have a very small heel. And um, I'm probably just going to go doped up on Percocet because I'm not walking into this party with my cane. So the, a lot of the people haven't seen me in a while. Um, so I'm excited about the weight loss because they haven't seen me in a while, but I also don't want to be walking in with a cane because I don't want to take away from the party so that people, oh my God, what's wrong? I already feel weird when I'm in the mall and I'm in the chair, my, I have a companion chair. So I either get pushed around, you know, by my boyfriend or my son. And I, I don't want any attention to be drawn to me because I'm using a cane or what have you. So a little bit of Percocet might do me good. So I'm really excited about that. The other thing was, um, damn, everything's on my phone. I took a picture of a dress today that I'm thinking I might wear to my brother's wedding. And I don't even wear dresses. I have um, one skirt and it's a jean skirt and it's down to my ankles. And it's probably huge on me right now. I should probably try it on and get rid of it. Uh, it's probably a size 20, if not bigger. And I'm not going to invest money in uh, fixing it. So, yeah. So this dress is uh, shoulder, off the shoulder, which is a concern in itself because remember last week I showed you the Miami wave, so my arms are already um, flabby, like they have that weird extra skin. So I, I like the style of the dress, so maybe it'll just be a two sleeve instead of an off the shoulder. So yeah, maybe next week when I do um, my video, I'll do it on my iPad so I can show you pictures. So... Um, yeah, that, that's really it. I'm tired of barfing. My last barf was last night uh, on my Rice Krispies. And uh, I'm sticking to fluids and uh, soups. And uh, Tim Hortons, again, too bad for you Americans. I don't think you have Tim Hortons. But uh, I had the cream of oyster, no, the clam chowder and the cauliflower and cheddar cheese. Really yummy. So I'm sticking to my soups. So I do have to have something to eat and it is getting late. And I just realized I'm gonna talk for nine minutes and 39 seconds. So um, yeah, you guys have a fantastic week. Next week, I will have information to report about my gastroscopy and how that went and what the results of that are. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you on Wednesday.
post any comments, suggestions. Now you know about my whole color theory. Fire away. Have a good one.